Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time we are talking about Windows Service Monitoring and out from the box the official template discover all services and it will automatically create trigger for all of the services which practically creates quite some noise and people can be unsatisfied like there are some Google update service Firefox update service like a, a lot of noise and uh, then like people ask like what uh, is there any other approach like how overall people do with the service monitoring and uh, there is one optimal path we can go and uh, it's called like discover all services but create trigger for only the precious ones. Uh, what's elegant about this solution is like you can set it today and maybe manager asks one month later like I need to cover this service could you do that and you can come up like a uh, like uh, yeah entertain the manager immediately that you actually have statistics already about that service because it was always inside the Zabbix but the trigger was just not there. Uh, so that's quite a, a big uh, benefit and the other benefit of course is like the the or overall noise is, is like to the bare minimum like no triggers of your choice will bother you uh, we are operating with the whitelist only not the blacklist uh, yeah uh, yeah let's let's have a look and uh, we will start the process by cloning the official template. I, I will kind of like convert the Windows template to module, like to cover the service monitoring. So this is the guy. Uh, I will call it like uh, Windows Service Monitoring uh, version 2 and remove all the stuff here uh, that's my that's my style um, if, if you want you cannot do that that's fine uh, here we will also remove a lot of uh, built-in uh, thresholds and leave only the ones which is matching the service uh, and though the, out from the box there are four click 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 just a moment uh, yeah so for four four services and I will introduce like two more uh, which will be called uh, uh, like cray create dot trigger so which services we will actually want to create the trigger and then uh, we will uh, like cover a little bit like functionality we can create a disabled trigger just to prepare for the future uh, right now this will be empty uh, the thing uh, here in the macro section we only need to keep the service state okay and here I will remove the description and uh, modules click and uh, so if I even forgot to cl click the button at the beginning that's absolutely fine like uh, it's 100% uh, re reliability to click the button <laughs> later click and now I will uh, save the template I just double check okay right now it's empty and add okay and now let's have like monitoring version 2 we have this template uh, inside the template I will also erase the normal items which is re responsible about CPU memory network the built-in dashboards will go away so my goal is to have like a nice module to demonstrate and also maybe sometimes you want to monitor services sometimes we don't want so yeah this template is having only single discovery and some um, threshold some uh, some value mapping and uh, maybe not the thresholds but like the patterns what services we care about at the template level we can define uh, the next phase uh, I will show how it looks like right now out from the box without any modification uh, 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 how the Windows service monitoring looks so this is my Windows thing and if I link the template Windows service monitoring version 2.0 update 
and in the Zabbix 7.0 we will have the discovery happen like very fast if we use the default settings like agent has a incremental configuration update every five seconds out from the box uh, in the older releases it was two minutes and just because of this incremental update like the discovery here should execute like in the next 20 30 seconds if i refresh the page uh, here you go like 48 services so this is a host like a domain control controller and uh, inside the trigger like we have a lot of stuff and here we have already like some aws lit I I agent is, is not running i'm not sure maybe that's uh, that's good to to know but yeah in overall situation we want to like shut down these triggers to have a very minimal interface to to receive the alerts only about stuff you really care about or the team cares about like always look from the standpoint uh, like you know which services are important and those who are not important i don't want to have even the trigger so that will be the goal of this uh, tutorial and uh, let's implement some uh, benefits some patching uh, here um, i will actually open in uh, open two tabs uh, inside the items section i will choose some chosen ones like which i care about uh, for example, uh, DNS uh, here, copy to the clipboard and uh, let's edit the template macro like create trigger and we can use the regex here uh, using this uh, elegant syntax uh, DNS and DHCP putting it over here. Uh, maybe let's grab something else event log click uh, so uh, and uh, for disabled, I will also select something which will be like this guy, management, uh, in instrumentation, click, and um, yeah, so uh, this will be the built-in macro uh, to, uh, not built-in, but the user macro, which uh, if we use nested templates, we can introduce uh, an override at the client level for each client they will have individual uh, services they really care about and the trigger will be not created for the other ones um, okay uh, let's copy this thing to the clipboard update so the macro is installed let's go over go to the discovery section there is uh, override and um, actually i need a notepad uh, or here like that's th that's my macro copy and uh, so override we will go th uh, we will do that through the override and here what we want to do like target uh, service name uh, this is the uh, macro reported by low level discovery rule when agent finds all the services on the windows computer and then we will kind of uh, compare this macro with the user macro and if it's matching some of the services what to do and here in the condition we select trigger prototype contains uh, i will open another tab and uh, actually the triggers are called like this uh, windows uh, name of service and then is not running so i will copy this pattern is not running and put it over here so uh, for certain services and right now I have three in the list I want to like do something special with them and that special thing will be here uh, create enabled and uh, discover uh, create enabled like uh, it's it's very sounds like not so uh, I, I don't like how it sounds uh, like uh, but practically this uh, first one is either the trigger is enabled or disabled uh, when you say no it will create disabled triggers if you say uh, yes it will create uh, enabled triggers like uh, it's still like configuration wise it creates uh, some noise the other one like this cover this is uh, where we can remove the noise in terms of uh, configuration how we look um, 
well, we define the triggers manually, like inside a section, we can really see like trigger is there or uh, or, or uh, if we click no, then trigger will not be there. Uh, we will, I will show another example, which will make us understand better what is the meaning of this discover. Uh, okay, so add, and this will be called create trigger, add, uh, and update. Uh, wait a second, I will set a more aggressive interval here instead of one hour, like 12 seconds. And now, uh, and by the way, the reason why I take uh, took this guy, service.name, this is also we can see here, service.name, that's one of the macro, lolld LLD discovery macro reported by low uh, LLD rule. Okay, update. Um, I forgot to set the baseline and the baseline is like out from the box i don't want to create any of the triggers so this will be the baseline click um, not creating and uh, uh, discover it's like uh, the the lld just not look at that uh, element in it yeah it, it it's not creating uh, let, what's the result right now so i am editing the live template and if we go here we have like uh, yeah items 48 triggers 48 uh, every 12 seconds it will remaster this how it looks like click and this is how it looks like uh, now it already disabled bunch of the triggers and the ones in the list like dhcp dns and some like here event log that is enabled and right now uh, we can kind of uh, edit them LLD uh, setting here to like uh, like delete the entities which are not discovered. That's that's one way to do. But uh, this template will work better uh, if we like when when we apply on a completely new host. Um, right now, I can kind of like delete everything here, and we will see every twelve seconds it will remaster that um, like service list apply not yet let's wait one two three four five and voila like now uh, it completely actually ignored the ones which is um, yeah not not in the list in in my user macro if we go back to the items now the picture is very elegant like we still collect the state what's the if, is the service running uh, or in the stopped state we still collect for all of the services but the trigger really exists for the ones which we which we care to receive email alert or create a ticket um, okay, l let's uh, cover another example uh, because like usually in real life we would not execute every 12 seconds. Um, it, it should run every one hour or even one day at the best case scenario. And um, then uh, sometimes like maybe we are not absolutely sure do we want to um, like have the trigger like some uh, decision half made and for that situation we would have another override here like uh, create disabled and um, I will try to guess like service uh, name hashtag matches and my macro was called uh, trigger uh, trigger no sorry create uh, disabled like this uh, add a trigger prototype contains is not running and here um, like we pick up the data from the JSON and we create an, a not enabled trigger and uh, I, I did uh, let's like double check uh, if these macros really exist and one of the macros is this one create oh uh -huh, yeah typo uh, create disabled let's uh, copy this to the clipboard to double check copy update if I do control F uh, this is matching and if we explore that macro here control uh, F yeah this is also matching 
So no typos. Uh, so practically we are creating, uh, like preparing for the future, uh, not certain about like, um, uh, uh, do I want to create really the trigger? Okay, and uh, yeah, this is how the picture looks like. Add, update, update. And now if we look at the host level data collection, it should be like four triggers, four triggers over here, click. And we see that uh, three are, I'm very confident, DHCP, like DNS event log, I want to monitor them. And this one is like on, on the line. I, I think the team wants, but uh, like I, I uh, I'm, I'm not certain. And so I'm creating disabled. Um, okay. That is, uh, that is everything for this uh, video. Um, yeah, so this, uh, uh, this is a module. Uh, at least uh, that's that would that would be how I, I would suggest to use like create a separate uh, module uh, with this service discovery create s certain macro macro uh, which targets the service titles we really care about and uh, then it will uh, as an outcome we uh, create a trigger at the configuration level only for the ones which which are um, in, in our care and uh, it will lower down the noise even at the configuration level when you explore the host object there is less entities uh, so it's more more pleasant okay um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching